thought you did very well. What's happened? You should have seen it run! Albert! Is that you? <laughs> Johnny! Hang on, don't go down. Hang on, we're coming. What a mess. Hang on, love. Come on. It's my ankle hurts. Oh, there, there, love. What's happened, Albert? Are we in a dungeon, ma'am? No, love, you're just in our own old cellar, that's all. A cellar? We've got a cellar in our house? Yes, love. Now, oh. mind, don't put your weight on that foot. That's... Hey, it's you. Albert, are you going to stand there gawping all night? Can you lift him? That's it. Uh, be man. careful, Albert. Yes, He's got a sack of coal. That's a good lad. There we are. You'll soon be all right now. Don't worry about that. Put him in this chair here. That's right. Look, oh, be careful. There, there, look. You'll be all right now. Well, um, that's all I'll think of. Where do you you're going? What happened, Johnny? Um, Tommy Fitzpatrick's expecting me round. Don't you dare. Don't know if it smelled funny down there. Perhaps Johnny's right about that ghost. Rather smell to tell. Albert, you were left in charge of our Johnny. It's a big cellar, and it's quite dry. You know, really, we owe it to ourselves to put it to some good purpose. That door is off its hinges. I mean, people pay millions of pounds for office space these days. Now, somebody... Really, Dad, when you think about it, it's a good thing that door's come off. Somebody is going to have to pay for that door. Yeah, Dad. You see, really, you should thank me. Looking objectively at it like, I've actually done you a favour. Don't push your luck, Albert. We could use it as an extra room. It'd make a smashing workshop. I can make thousands of pounds inventing things down there. Not satisfied with demolishing a door. Now he wants to blow the whole house up. Is that all the thanks I get for opening up new vistas in our lives? Oh, yeah. I'm rescuing Johnny. Right, get out of my sight before I do something you'll regret. It's only these proper lights. If you like, I'll even volunteer to rewire the place for you. Get out! I told him he was pushing his luck. So, are you going to tell us what happened? Well, I don't know, really. I just sort of fell through the door, and that's all I can remember. Hey, maybe it was a ghost after all, it might have. He up on the choir and opened it from the inside. Hey, look, what's happened? It's all our Albert's fault. I don't know how, but I know it is. Ah, well, that makes sense. <laughs> Does it? What's going on? Seen him like it. Albert was scared out of his wits. I can just see it. Like a monster let loose. Who? Dad? Tenor notice she saw an horror film last night. They were very angry. Mm, I should think our Albert's gone round to Marilyn's. For sanctuary. What? What was it, Mavis? The Hunchback of Notre Dame? Even now I've seen that. No, it was the return of the Hunchback. I didn't mean to see it, but my grandma and granddad had gone to bed and... Well, Rita said it was part of my education, so... What happened? Well... There was this nice, ordinary man, just like Mr. Briggs, really. And he found this secret passageway under the house, and he went down to explore it. But when he came back, a great change had come over him. He's coming! He's got something in his hand! <laughs> Have you seen this? <laughs> Never! If I were you, baby, I'd stick to Blue Peter. And this? Isn't that... Um, Suitcase we used on our honeymoon, aye? Oh. oh, it makes you sick, doesn't it? You should show more respect, especially in front of your friend. Oh, it's all right, Mrs Briggs. I'm used to your family by now. Hey, I thought this was all your fault, as usual. No, it wasn't, Rita. Oh, now look what you've done. See what I mean? It's so destructive. I want to go through the... And what about your ankle? It's feeling better now. Oh, it looks like it. And anyway, it was our Albert's fault, not Johnny's. Huh? He was left in charge. Our Johnny had never thought of breaking the door down on his own, would he? Eee, you really think he did? On purpose, like? I see. 
No, I don't. How did our Johnny end up falling down the stairs then? No, it'll be his own fault. Oh, forgetting it, way of course. Now, look here, Rita, we've Come just... Come on, Mavis, if we want any peace and civilization, we better go up to my room. Come on. Am I under arrest or what? Ghosts, indeed. I told you, Johnny, there's a logical explanation for everything. Ah, oh, well, maybe door was given a bit. A bit? It was on its last legs, look at it. Just in his matchsticks. It's the wonder that door stopped in one piece for so long, Dad. Ah, uh, you're right. Maybe I should look for a door second then. I'll sell you anything, Blaze Boy, I've seen. Dear Jack, look at this. <laughs> Did you find an old football down there, Dad? No, son. Oh, those were the days. Hey, did we really use this case on our honeymoon? Ah, we did. It's a proper wreck. Hey, I spent half my wages on that. Best cardboard money could buy. <laughs> yes. Well, once you've got a new door on that cellar, this case can go right back where it came from. Oh, I don't think Shop would take it back now, love. Oh, get on with you. Are these four of us, ma'am? Yes, love. Hey. Hey, I'd like to do something with these. You know, we could get a proper photograph album like other people with cling film and that and put them in it. Ah, oh, oh, we could, eh? It's Saturday tomorrow. Everybody else seems to have them. Why not us? Aye, true. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Amazing. Can I see? It's incredible, isn't it? I know it is. I mean, why don't we have posh things like that? Posh? Hey, all those broken knives. Albert was always being sick. I was too greedy. Hey, and our Rita. Oh, well. Do you remember that couple at number six? They said she had a scream that brought sherry glasses when she was a baby. Mm. Who does it give us this? Uh, Auntie Emerald. Auntie Emerald. You know, it's things like this make me glad we haven't got a girl. <laughs> I should like to say, if it hadn't been for people like Mary Curie and all this, the world would be a lot more ignorant about radioactivity. Humphrey, are you all right? It's funny. I never even noticed that door in your living room. Fancy. Isn't it amazing? Not really, Mavis. It's just a badly designed house, that's all. Stupid place to put a cellar door, if you ask me. Builders can be very funny people. So can architects. I once said an uncle who was I a builder. I expect that's why Mum and Dad bought it. Never got it cheap. Like this buried. Oh, well. Maybe now your Johnny will stop going on and on about ghosts. Ghosts. Superstitious nonsense. Rita, do you ever get mice up here? In my room? They wouldn't dare. I must say, it is difficult to come to terms with equal rights for all living creatures when you've got mice in the house. Well, we haven't. I think it might be time I was getting home, Rita. But you've only just got here. My grandma will be getting worried. Well, don't expect me to come out with you looking like this. Rita, you don't think there really might be such things as ghosts, do you? Maybe. Surely the exhibition you made of yourself downstairs, not quarter of an hour ago, will have warned you by now not to get swept away by superstition and imagination. I mean, even if there were such things as ghosts, or even space invaders, which of course there aren't, we as human beings, renowned for our ability to adapt to circumstances, which may, if it's the key to survival, would have to... have to... Listen, Humphrey. What is it? I don't know, Johnny. One thing I'm sure of, it's not a ghost. No, I suppose not. I mean, it's not in the cellar, is it? No, but Razzle thought it was so, and he's the best ghost detector ever. Well, he got it wrong that time, eh? Yeah. Why isn't your hair stand end anymore? It's a new barber I'm going to. Why? Why what? Well, why are you going to a new barber? Well, why not? He looks smart. Well, you've got to look smart when you're a member of the debating society, Johnny. Debating society? What's that? Well, you've got to stand up in front of a lot of people, make a speech about something, then someone else gets up, makes another speech, trying to prove what you said was a load of rubbish. One well, that makes the best speech wins. Or something like that, anyway. You don't have to belong to a society to get that, Humphrey. Eh? Hey? You get all that at home. Well, you do things out of school, don't you? Well, we've got to plant garden and that. It's boring. Gardens? That doesn't sound boring to me. We've got to find out how to make hay baskets out of old hats and that. Oh, well, what we've got to do is find an old hat. Where would we find your old hat, Humphrey? Sorry, Johnny. I've got to work on my speech. My God's given me fair warning. 
If I'm not a disgrace to the next debate, she'll vote me off the committee. Marigold who? Marigold Mortimer, if you must know. She's a uh, chairperson of the debating society. She sounds just like our Rita. Eh? Bossy. What's wrong, Razzle? He wants me to follow him. Wants his dinner, more like. No, he's had his dinner ages ago. No, Razzle the ghost detector. He's trapped the ghost down to our Rita's room. If that ghost has taken up residence in her room, it deserves a Victoria Cross. What's that? It's in a war for bravery. Oh. And so do you, she catches you in there. Johnny! Move vistas in our lives. Oh, yeah. I'm rescuing Johnny. Right. Get out of my sight before I do something you'll regret. It only needs proper lights. If you like, I'll even volunteer to rewire the place for you. Get out! I told him he was pushing his luck. So, are you going to tell us what happened? Well, I don't know, really. I just sort of fell through the door, and that's all I can remember. Hey, maybe it was the ghost after all, it might have creeped up on the choir and opened it from the inside. Hey, look, what's happened? It's all our Albert's fault. I don't know how, but I know it is. Ah, well, that makes sense. <laughs> Does it? What's going on? Seen him like it. Albert was scared out of his wits. I can just see it. Like a monster let loose. Who? Dad? Tenna noticed she saw an horror film last night. It was very angry. Mm, I should think our Albert's gone round to Marilyn's. For sanctuary. What? What was it, maybe? It's the Hunchback of Notre Dame? Even now I've seen that. No, it was the return of the Hunchback. I didn't mean to see it, but my grandma and granddad had gone to bed and... Well, Rita said it were part of my education, so... What happened? Well... There was this nice, ordinary man, just like Mr. Briggs, really. And he found this secret passageway under the house, and he went down to explore it. But when he came back, a great change had come over him. He's coming! He's got something in his hand! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen? Never! <laughs> if I were you, babies, I'd stick to Blue Peter. And this? Isn't that, um... Suitcase we used on our honeymoon, aye? Oh! Oh, it makes you sick, doesn't it? You should show more respect, especially in front of your friend. Oh, it's all right, Mrs Briggs. I'm used to your family by now. Hey, I thought this was all your fault, as usual. No, it wasn't, Rita. Oh, now look what you've done. See what I mean? It's so destructive. I want to go through the... And what about your ankle? It's feeling better now. Oh, it looks like it. And anyway, it was our Albert's fault, not Johnny's. How? He was left in charge. Our Johnny had never thought of breaking the door down on his own, would he? Eee, you really think he did? On purpose, like? I see. No, I don't. How did our Johnny end up falling down the stairs, then? No, oh, it'll be his own fault. Oh, forgetting it, way of course. Now, look here, Rita, we've Come just... Come on, Mavis, if we want any peace and civilization, we'd better go up to my room. Come on. Am I under arrest, or what? Go, Cindy. I told you, Johnny. There's a logical explanation for everything. Ah, well, maybe door was giving a bit. A bit? It was on its last legs, look at it. Just in his matchsticks. It's the one that that door stopped in one piece for so long, Dad. Ah, uh, you're right. Maybe I should look for a door second then. 
I'll sell you anything, Blaze Point, I'm saying. Dear Jack, look at this. <laughs> Did you find an old football down there, Dad? No, son. Oh, those were the days. Hey, did we really use this case on our honeymoon? Ah, we did. It's a proper wreck. Hey, I spent half my wages on that. Best cardboard money could buy. <laughs> yes. Well, once you've got a new door on that cellar, this case can go right back where it came from. Oh, I don't think Shop would take it back now, love. Oh, get on with you. Are these four of us now? Yes, love. Hey, 